Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Everyone. I'm Marie from Southern Country Living, and this is the way my tomato pie looks. Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside, and my heart strings are pulling like the tide. And the match that drew a spark was a single stolen key. Hi everyone, I'm Marie from Southern Country Living and I hope everyone is having a great day today. We're having beautiful weather here in Georgia and uh, I hope you all are too. I know that some parts of the country it's really hot right now and we really feel for you. So today I'm going to be making a tomato pie. So let me get started on this good tasting pie. This here is my pie crust that I got at Aldi's. I just got it out of the refrigerator and I'm going to let it come up to room temperature for about 15 minutes. And then here are my tomatoes. These came from my neighbor's garden and these are the ones that I got at Aldi's. And, uh, and if these are not too ripe, I'm going to try to use these but otherwise I'll be using these more firmer ones. Okay, I got some bacon at Aldi's to go in my tomato pie. And uh, it's this thick sliced bacon, and I'm going to fry this up, and I'm going to use probably about six slices, and I'm going to uh, cut them about one this inch piece. I'm going to cut my bacon into approximately one inch pieces. I don't have a tape measure, so I don't think y'all mind <laughs> if I get off. And when I get these cut up, I will take them over to my stove top and get them fried up. I have some bacon over here in my pan frying and so now I'm going to get my crust ready. I also have a little bit of flour on my mat. So now I'm going to unroll my pie crust and roll it out to about 12 inches. Okay, I've got this rolled out now, so I'm going to put it in my pie plate. So I've got my pie um, crust shaped now 
and so I'm going to put my parchment paper in it and I'm going to put some beans on in it. Okay, so now I'm going to put my parchment paper in my pie crust and I'm going to put my beans in it to keep it from um, rising. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to cut my pie shell for nine minutes at 400 degrees. Okay, I'm going to uh, slice my tomatoes up for my tomato pie. And boy, does my house smell good with that bacon that we just got through frying. And uh, my daughter said that she loves tomato pie, so I thought I would try one today. I found a recipe that I think is going to be a really good one. And I hope that y'all enjoy it too when I make it. Or I should say, I hope y'all enjoy it, if y'all make it. <laughs> so I'm going to try to get these not too thick, but not too thin. And it helps using a tomato knife, and that's what my, one of my aunts gave me this on our 50th wedding anniversary. Along with some more stuff. And uh, if y'all hear any cat sounds, there's two cats outside my patio door, and uh, one of them is trying to get the other's food. <laughs> so I hope that I don't have to stop and break up a fight. <laughs> I think when Calvin got a picture of them, they were very um, friendly towards each other because one of them was more dominant than the other one, so the other one just sat down. <laughs> okay, so that's my first tomato. So let me get these, the rest of these tomatoes cut up and I'll be back. Get this one more slice off of this tomato. Okay. So I'm going to put my tomatoes over here on my paper towels and I'll let them be getting the moisture off of them and drying out and I'm going to put some salt on them and let them sit for about 10 minutes. Okay, let me get rid of these, this tomato juice over here and tomatoes. Okay, let me dry my hands off. Okay, so now I'm going to put a little salt on them to help draw the water out. Okay, and when my pie shell cools off and when my tomatoes uh, have uh, got all the moisture out, which will take about 10 minutes, I'll be back. Okay, I'm going to cut my onion now. Okay, I have my onion cut in half now, so now I'm going to cut it in little slices. And I'm going to be using one half of this onion. So now I'm going to be making the um, mayonnaise mixture for my um, tomato pie. I'm going to put about a cup of mayonnaise in it, and you can use whatever mayonnaise you prefer. I'm just using what I have on hand. So I'm going to put about a cup of mayonnaise in here. And then I'm going to put in about a fourth a cup of sour cream. I'm going to put in about two cups of cheese. 
Okay, so now I'm going to put in my salt and pepper, and uh, this recipe will be in the description below. I'm going to mix this all up. Okay, and as soon as my pie cools off, I'll be back to assemble the rest of my tomato okay, I'm pie. I'm back, and my pie shell has all cooled off now. And this recipe does have a little bit of prep work in it, and I think it's going to be worth it. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take a paper towel and uh, get some more of this moisture off of the tomatoes. The salt really brings that moisture out. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to bring my onions over here and I'm going to put some onions on. Okay, so now then I'm going to put one half of the bacon on. It don't have to be pretty, just throw it on there. <laughs> okay, all right, now then I got the bacon on. So now then I'm going to put one third of the mayo mixture on. I'm just spread this out just a little bit. Okay, now then I'm going to put the tomatoes down. Okay, I'll wipe my hands off. So now then I'm going to put some more onions on. The recipe did suggest using Valdea onions, but she said, it's, said if you didn't have them, you can just use what you had. Okay, so now then I have my onions sewn. So now then I'm going to put another layer of tomatoes sewn. Okay, so now then I'm going to put the rest of my bacon on. And the house does smell good with the bacon and the onions. Okay, so now then I'm going to put on man, uh, my mayo mixture.
Now then I'm going to spread this out to the edges. I think that's about spread it out good enough. Okay, so now then I'm going to put more of this Italian style cheese over the top. Maria, I hear your kitty cat out there meowing. Yeah, he's wanting, he's wanting some cat food, but he doesn't want to sh share with the other cats, so I'll have to get him some. <laughs> All right, I have my uh, pie assembled now, and so when I was assembling it, I uh, missed a step, but we will have the recipe correct in the description below, and next time I'm going to wear my glasses. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to put this in a 375 degree oven and let it bake for 35 minutes and then I'll be back. Okay, so now it's time for me to do my favorite part. I'm going to be doing the taste test. That is really delicious. Okay, I've already did the taste test and there's nothing about this pie that I would really change. I love the Italian blended uh, cheeses in it, the uh, onion, tomato, and bacon. And uh, it just really made this a good summertime pie. And it's a great way to get rid of your tomatoes if you've got a, a garden and you just don't know what to do with them. Make you a good tomato pie. So y'all do what you love and love what you do, and we'll see y'all on the next video. Bye. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Every day we danced and life was smiling. We were young and drunk in love. A few years later, I have started just love in every glass I'm drinking We're like one without you I'm sinking I'm always shining